Welcome once again to Can Angels Fly? I'm Nancy. And I guess this can be a part two to how the spirits are announcing themselves to mankind and we're not listening. I placed a quote under the video I just uploaded and, oh wow, let's see if I can pull it up. And it is, again, I'm not trying to convert anybody and I can't see the screen because I, um, I pulled up the information I was just looking over. So in that last video, I put down in the show more section a scripture. That's what I say. I'm not trying to convert anybody. It's just like I said, I, I look at all forms of evidence. And so I in, in, inserted the scripture, Matthew's um, chapter 11, verses 14 through 16. Actually, it's 15 through um, 16. But if you know me, if you watch my videos, I talk about this number 14, 16. So, you know, when I saw it, I was like, ah, synchronicity. Uh, so, but I cut the 14, verse 14 off and just dealing with uh, Matthew chapter 11, verses 15 through 16. Um, because I was announcing how the spirits are announcing themselves with um, pronouns such as us, they, their, them, uh, those. Um, one was the us was offered by entities, uh, their names, the suffix of their names, and the they, those, them was offered by, um, I guess, gender fluidity, um, the rise in gender fluidity and or uh, not having it being definite. However, I don't really follow that. Um, so I just heard about it anyway. So this, the verse says, he who has ears to hear, let him hear, but to what shall I compare this generation? It is like children sitting in the marketplaces and calling to their playmates. Now, end of, end, end of, um, the verse quote now. I'm going to say this um, because I, I realize something's happening in my life and I, I know that you folks, fine folks, don't know. Uh, I have had, I'll say, some type of ability in my life and I see it, it seems like it's increasing. It's coming back real strong. That's why I've decided to make my new channel. So if you're interested in these kind of, of topics, um, uh, a spiritual, metaphysical type of topics. Uh, I've created a, a second channel, and that channel is called Heaven's Vitals, Heaven's Vital Fire. I ask you to go there and subscribe because when I get a hundred subscribers, I'm gonna start uploading these type of videos on that channel. And this channel, Can Angels Fly Terror, will be just for terror readings because I know everybody's not into it. Um, but I'm making this video because I'm going to tell you about a dream I had. Before I woke up at um, 2 o'clock in the morning on that um, campaign of uh, the demons announcing themselves to, uh, to mankind and mankind is not hearing. You know, uh, I had a dream before I woke up. And so I want to tell you about the dream first. And then I want to tell you what I just did after I finished making the video to find out it's the exact same concept. So it's interesting. It's interesting how spirits talk with us or God gives information to us. Or it is, if nothing else, it's interesting how the psyche um, processes things. My dream. I dream I was like in a, we can call it, like a mall area where it is like imagine the scene it's a friday or saturday evening around seven or eight not too late and the mall has a specialized area that has like a eatery um and a, like a a social establishment something similar to a nightclub but not a full-pledged nightclub there is dancing. There is music. Um, it's for the grown and sexy. Just want to lay back, get that after five drink, and socialize. Well, well uh, lit. No, not too dim, but a little bit. Need a little sexy. You know. Um, anyway, 
I find myself in my dream walking beside this woman to my left. And she was my cousin. And so I'm talking, she's dressed. I mean, she's beautiful. I got to tell you about her. Let me just focus on her. I called her, my cousin's name is Chappie. So I'm, I'm talking to Chappie. And I'll tell you what I, I was talking to Chappie about in just a moment. I just want to give you her essence first. And Chappie is dressed casually. She, she's casual. She had on, um, she had tie zillions. I don't know if you all know what tie zillions are, but they're those really micro small braids that um, uh, are loose at the end. And it, it, the hair is full and she had it wrapped up and pent up. So it was kind of pushed up here and pinned here. She was, I'm going to stop. She had on a, a black um, fitted off the sleeves, no strap, lace shirt. The shirt was lace uh, and it had like the little stretchy latex material underneath. Beautiful, I mean, high quality. And I think she had on some little um, like blue jean capris with the little cuff at the bottom, I think. And she had a black pair of sandals on in her purse on her arm, black. And the little sa the little uh, sandals looked like they were made of the only three inches high. Nothing too fancy, too high. Um, and it had the single strap across the foot and her little toenails are painted and her fingernails are painted. Now, Chappie is my cousin in the dream. This person is my cousin, Chappie. Looks just like her. Um, and so she's walking and so I'm on the side of her and I'm talking to her, but I could feel her. I could feel her. And she was beautiful. Not in the context of what we say when we say somebody beautiful. And I'm not being biased um, because my it's my cousin. Because we're going to say in the dream, how can I say this? In the dream, it is my cousin. Uh, it is. But I'm not recognizing her so much in my dream as my cousin. I'll explain in a moment. So, I'm not saying she's beautiful as, as biasly because she is my real live and real time cousin. No. I'm saying she is she was beautiful. Let's see. There's a spirit called Beauty. His name is Beauty. At least I thought it was. Name Beauty. And whatever you think is beautiful, imagine this Friday evening, this uh, or Saturday evening. It's about 7 or 8 going into this like social place. It's really, it's nice. It's kind of dimly lit. It's beautiful, you know, and, and the evening is just really nice. It's beautiful. Um, everybody's on their best behavior, socializing. It's beautiful. You with friends, it's beautiful. Uh, you're free. It's beautiful. She was that beauty. It was no difference between the energy and her. She was it manifest in the physical. So, she's moving into the scene. We are moving into the scene. We're walking. And I'm saying to her, I said, Chappie, I said, please, please, please. I'm begging her. I'm begging her. Like, I'm kind of, I may be exposing myself uh, because, again, it could be dealing with my subconscious. But I find it interesting when I dig deeper and I begin to interpret the dream now. So, ride the wave with me. I say, Chappie, please, please, please <clears throat> get married. Get married. I mean, I, I felt the beauty off of her. It hurt. She was beauty itself. And I felt it. I could feel it. Her essence. It was beauty. I said, please, please, please get married with tears to the brim of my eyes. And she says, um, and she's walking, she's just looking straight ahead and she's not too, um, excited or anything like that. She just in, she is the environment because she is representing beauty and she's the environment. So she's walking in and she's just looking ahead, purse on her arm, just walking like, you know, just in. It wasn't about, let me find a seat. Let me try to look cute. She was just beauty. She was the essence of beauty. She was beauty. I don't know how to define it. She was whatever you de de deem beautiful. 
not this. The She was the embodiment of beauty. She walks in and she's just in like she's, she was it. So she's in it and she's this movie. Uh, and I'm like, please, please, please get married. Tears on the rim of my eyes. And she says, why would I, she turns to me. She says, why, well, barely turns to me because she's like just kind of scoping. She's the air itself. Like, she's like, well, why would I do that? I said, Chappie, how can I get married? How can any woman over 50 get married if you don't? Interesting, interesting, interesting. I'm going to explain to you what that meant. And she says, when I say, I said, she said, you want to get, uh, she said something like, get married? You don't want to get married. <laughs> you don't want to get married. No one should want to get married. And she, I mean, she was very soft-spoken, very, she, she was the epitome of a lady. Um, so, fairly soft-spoken, um, robust woman. Uh, she had it together, definitely. And I was like, but I do. She says, oh, um, well, uh, you shouldn't want to get married. I said, do you understand, Chappie, how many women need you to get married? They are depending on you to get married. And she was like, oh my goodness, I'm forgetting what. And, and so I'm just pleading this case, pleading this case. And we're just walking in. She's walking in. And she's really not looking over at me. She kind of will spin around a little bit, you know. Uh, but she's just walking. And again, like she is the air. She's the space. She is beauty. Embodied in this person, Chappie. And she, I don't know how to express it. And so I'm pleading with her. I'm begging with her on behalf of me and other women. It, it was like, I'm again, I'm beginning to interpret the dream. I'm trying to see if I missed anything. Interpretation. Interpreting the dream. As I mentioned, the character Chappie is my cousin. And as I explained, tried to explain, that Chappie was beautiful. In my dream, she wasn't beautiful like an individual person. She was beauty, the essence of beauty. That's what she was manifested. It's like whatever beauty is, wherever it comes from, she was it. She was one with the air, the environment, every beautiful thing. As if she was the spirit of, or the entity of beauty walking in on this particular scene. And she wasn't excited because that is her norm. That is her kingdom. That is what she does. Now, what's, what else is so important about this character Chappie in my dream? Is that the reason why I was uh, pleading for her to marry? Because she was a representative of, check this out. And I got this before I woke up. She was a representative of women over 50. I'm not even 50 yet, so that was a little strange to me. But she was a representative of women over 50 or women that are um, not appealing. Oh, oh, yeah. She's not as appealing anymore. This is something else that uh, I saw in my dream through the experience is that I was like, I tell her, I said, Chappie. I, she said, she says, the, the young, many young folks don't get married. Um, don't want to get married. I was like, because they, they don't need you. No, she said, many folks, uh, young folks don't want me to get married. I was like, because they don't need you. They still have you. They still, you know, are you. They still are youthful, beautiful, got Similac on their breast, breath, you know, that kind of thing. They don't need you. I said, don't you realize women over 50 need you? We need you. If you don't get married, we can't get married. But she was unmoved by it. She said, you shouldn't. You, you shouldn't want to get married. So what else is relevant about this character Chappie I speak of? Is that she represented, again, beauty. The youthful beauty. Even though she was a woman 
of, of age to see a woman, a robust woman. She was beauty. And she was saying, you shouldn't want to get married. She was saying, like, the young folks aren't interested in getting me getting married because they already possessed her essence. But as a woman aged or got seasoned, she lost her, um, she lost her, her appeal, um, to potential mates. I'll say that. And so Chappie held the key to marriage of an undesirable woman or a woman of, of age, a seasoned woman. I know I'm saying stuff that's going to suck. People just ride away with me. I ain't too far from it. The age bracket. Right? Um, and she was like, uh, well, I'm not getting married like that. Why would I get married, Chappie says. I said, to help all the women. She says, you shouldn't even want to get married. Um, and, and so the next significance of Chappie. As mentioned, I was like, when I woke up, I was like, why did I dream about my cousin Chappie? I barely even see her. That was strange. And it, I just got this, I just woke up. I realized the reason why that character was an image of my cousin Chappie was because I know how Chappie would respond in like a similar situation. Example. Chappie, women depend on you to get married so that they can get married. Chappie, the character, again, remember, is the embodiment, is the essence, is beauty herself. She was free. She was um, beautiful. She was, um, like I said, she was well-dressed, well-dressed. Clean, so it showed her clothing, her attire showed that she was okay in this life. I didn't even get the sense that a, ch a chappy in my dream had to work. Now my cousin does work, but remember this is just an image, so that I would understand the mindset of the character. I, based on the her being chappy, being beauty, and how she dressed. She wasn't required to work, to slave hard, to get anything because she was beauty. It was always hers. It was hers. Like beauty and abundance went hand in hand. And I'm not even going to say abundance because I didn't get the sense of abundance. I got the sense that she had everything that she needed. And it was all good. It was beautiful. It was pleasurable. She had it. Or she needed it. She had, it never was a need. She had. She has. And she never is in that state of need. And or no desperation. It was a real feminine energy. And so, um, as I mentioned, I know how my, my, my actual cousin would respond. This is how I come to understand that character. I'm okay. So that's all that matters. I'm okay. And why should I give up having everything that I need? You know? Uh, and so what else was relevant about this character? And what made me make this video is like a part two to how spirits are speaking, but we are not hearing them. They're announcing themselves. Is my cousin Chappie's real name. Her first name is Gloria. And so after I set up, when I got the realization of why the character in my dream was my cousin Chappie, I was like, oh, because I understand how Chappie will respond to a certain similar circumstance or situation or question or concern, you know, or issue. I know how she would respond. No question. Well, I was like, well, I realized her name is not Chappy, that's what we call her. Her name is Gloria. And so I was talking about in the last video, uh, in spirits talking and announcing that they are here. I said, well, I'm going to look up the ending of the name Gloria, the suffix, just to see. So 
I, www.dictionary.com, uh, the IA in the name Gloria. And that's an awesome name because the, the, I can say now, the spirit, the entity, beauty, I dreamt of. And I spoke um, with her in my dream. Um, and it was, so it really points to like that entity, that spirit of beauty knows that it, it has, it, it really, how can I say it? We don't know what creates the aging process or, or that ultimately most times, um, we know that it is common for, uh, women of a certain age to become undesirable. And we don't really understand the whole science behind it. In that dream, I interacted with a, a character, an entity, a spirit, the spirit of beauty. And she is aware that she eludes a certain um, group or, or tribe of women and understands that they need her to sacrifice to marry. So across the board, all women will maintain their beauty and desirability always. Now, obviously, she can't deny it or will not deny it to the young. She lots them that. But to the older women or that which are so more socially undesirable, she has no concern about their well-being or their need for companionship. Like I said, I might be letting y'all dive into my psyche, but that thing right there was real. And as I mentioned, I've always had a gift. It seems like it's emerging and increasing. So I'm sharing because, again, I'm about to go into the, this dog, even at 3 o'clock in the morning, Scrappy, bringing in the garbage. Oh, just irritate me. Um, anyway, the ending of the name Gloria was interesting. But that's a beautiful name to go with beauty, with the spirit of beauty, Gloria. Um mm -hmm is I A and let me see if I can find these definitions as offered by www.dictionary.com is that oh I, I'll read this part I don't know if it'll make sense a noun suffix having restricted application in various fields. And the field we're talking about is beauty. Let me go down. And desirability. Um, oh, another thing. Remember, referring back to the first video that I did talking about how uh, spirits are announcing themselves and mankind is not listening. Uh, it, Gloria, the name Gloria ends with I-A. And here's uh, the origins of I-A as a suffix, is that it's a female, it represent. it is defined as female singular as an individual. What female sing, singular am I talking about? In this case, my cousin Chappie, Gloria, the spirit of beauty, that individual entity I was engaging with. But it also, check this out, y'all. It also means, or a neuter, plural, noun, more than one again, more than one again. Um, let me go down. It was one other thing. If I can find it. Hmm, where was that? Hmm. Oh. <coughs> I forgot to mention something. Let me see. It was one other thing. Where is it at? Oh, I don't want to lose that part. Mm. Give me a moment. It was so interesting, the things that emerge. I wonder how intense it will get. How far it will go. What? My ability to see, hear, those kind of things. Um, well, I'll add this because I can't see, um, what else I was looking for, but if, this is also one, uh, 
One definition is occurring in words denoting condition or quality. Utopia is an example. I'll read that definition again because it's a little shaky. Um, occurring in words, Gloria, denoting a condition or quality. Again, what condition or quality are we talking about? The spirit of beauty. One other thing I like to point out is that when we define the suffix AI, it is, oh, I don't want to move it, I'm on the, I'll go back, is that it is also defined as occurring in names of diseases and pathological disorders. I found that interesting. And it's the term pathological that I'm really focused on. But I want to read that last definition again. Occurring in names of diseases and pathological disorders. Now, why might that be important? Well, remember, Gloria, Chappie, Chappie, Gloria, re, the, the spirit of beauty, refused to marry in order to um, cover all women of all ages, of all creeds, colors, and sizes, whatever. She refused to marry. Why should she? Because she was okay and the young were with her. That was fine. And so the rest of the women were um, left to age to get arthritis, um, uh, different diseases, you know, that happen as one ages, you know, liver spots, all those kind of things, or disorders, pathological disorders, things that are chronic. Now, the last term I want to look at relative to this dream I've shared with you is the term pathological. Pathological is defined as compulsively motivated, compulsively motivated. In this case, who was compulsive? It was me. I was begging Chappie, Gloria, the spirit of beauty, to please Mary in order to lose, to cover all of the women, all women of all ages, creeds, colors, sizes, etc. Please Mary. They need you to marry or they'll never get married. Or, they're, you know, that kind of thing. And she refused to. And so not only does the dream suggest that by her holding back her, her grace, I'll say, her glory, her beauty, from a set group of women or um, older women, it also ushers in aging and sickness and... Um, uh, pathological conditions, including psychological conditions. And it's this, what I'm trying to say, the women that are not granted her, her glory of beauty. Some, not all, some, have a Compuls are compulsively motivated to desire, to continue to desire repetitively to be in a partnership, um, to be attached and to experience love. So, Gloria uh, has an um, option. Remember, Gloria is members of the spirit of beauty has the option to grace all women by just marrying. Who would she marry? I don't know. That entity or spirit was not shown to me in that dream. But all it said, all, it, all the energy was, is that she must be married, sacrifice herself, her freedom, and in order that all women, no matter what stage they are in life, will be still considered beautiful and still uh, be considered desirable. And she refused to. Therefore, leave, leaving many women to be uh, compulsively motivated to be wanting and longing. Ain't that interesting? Man, either I 
just dealt with a spirit like a mother sucker, or y'all just seen it enter the inner works of my psyche. Anyway, whatever the case may be, thank you for coming here to Can Angels Fly and listen to me uh, do some dream interpretation. <laughs>